I'm Robin Vincent with JacksonHoleVoice.com. The use of plastic bags is a hot topic around the globe. Already, plastic bags have been banned in countries such as Italy, China, Rwanda, and Sweden. Some people think that banning plastic bags may help to minimize the amount of litter on land and in the ocean. While others believe that a ban on plastic bags is irrational and restrictive, and that it's not the plastic bags that are the evil, but people who use them irresponsibly. So I talked to two town officials who are on either side of the fence regarding plastic bags. Councilman Greg Miles, who believes that here in Teton County, we should either have some sort of plastic bag ban or that we should be taxing plastic bags. And I also spoke with Mayor Mark Barron, who believes that a plastic bag ban is not what we should be putting our energy into at this time. So let's hear from both of them. I've uh, been really fortunate that I've been able to kind of travel around uh, the world quite a bit and uh, the U.S. quite a bit, you know, and uh, it seems like in the last, um, I don't know, five years of travel time, I've seen the impacts that plastic bags have had on so many places. Places where the, uh, the cultures that are there, the, the local populations, really don't have the resources to deal with plastic bags. I mean, so I've seen kind of that aspect of it. I've seen it also in our own culture where we've gotten so accustomed to just having the convenience of the plastic bag. Whenever we go to the grocery store, you know, that you just go there and I see the checkout counters and the checkout people just just loading up bags, 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 you know, with, uh, with items. And then I see handfuls of bags going out the door. And I started thinking to myself, well, what's happening with all these bags? And as I started looking into it more and more, I started to see that, you know, um, and reading about, of course, the fact that smaller uh, amounts of bags are being recycled than are being produced. And so where are all those bags going? Well, they're all going to the landfill. But in a lot of cultures, and like I said, in a lot of countries, they're just going out on the ground. You know, there are places where you can drive through Africa, there are places you can drive through Peru, where there are just miles of plastic bags just strewn along the sides of the road, stuck the fences. You know, and I've even seen it in Wyoming. I mean, I hate to call this thing like the Wyoming prayer flag. You know, we've got plastic bags stuck to uh, the fences along the highways, you know, and uh, so thinking about that and then beginning to understand what's happening to our, into our oceans with the impacts of plastic bags and uh, the effects that these are having, uh, having on the environment and, um, and in our communities uh, has begun to just sort of want to start this conversation locally and realize that in a community that really holds sustainability as a really high goal for us, you know, we want to be ecotourism, we want to be sustainable, we should be doing everything we can do to ensure that we are addressing the impacts of plastic bags. I see this as being a little bit of a tiered system where um, in my perfect world, I would like to see us uh, eliminate plastic bags from the waste stream, but charge a tax on a paper bag at the grocery store and encourage the, re the use of reusable grocery bags as much as possible. We've been aggressive about energy efficiency. We are very aggressive about land use planning. <clears throat> We're very aggressive about planning for wildlife and natural resources. Um, I think this community does a great job. and. <clears throat> when it comes to plastic bags, I think it's, it, it seems to be an issue that creates a lot of pizzazz media, but the meaningful effect is lost on me. Outside of, we're going to ask grocery stores <clears throat> to lose their plastic bags, and we're going to charge the, the, the toughest people in the economic realm of the ladder, those people are scraping by, we're going to charge them if they use plastic bags, or we may do as other mountain resort communities do, charge them 20 cents for every paper bag. Because of course, paper bags <clears throat> leave a much larger footprint in our waste stream, and, um, and they don't have any diversionary opportunities for them. So I'm at a loss as to why we're doing this. Um, the town council's time <clears throat> is precious. And um, I have a reputation for giving lots of time 
are issues that I think are important to this community. I don't think this is an important issue for our community today. We're in an economic recession, a serious economic recession. We've lost over 2,000 jobs in this community. <clears throat> we have people <clears throat> going to the Community Resource Center to try to save their home, to try to pay their rent, to try to buy their medications for their family. Um, we have record numbers of um, people going to the Jackson Cupboard for food because they don't have the income coming in to go to the grocery store. We have record numbers of people sitting at the Presbyterian Church Wednesday night dinner. Families, whole families coming in for a free meal. No preaching involved, just a free meal. We have really important issues in this town. I don't want to minimize um, Councilman Miles feelings for this. I respect where he is. I'm in a different place. I think we have much more. We have limited time, limited resources. We have a community that has limited tolerance for being told what they can and cannot do. And I don't think we have the palate or the appetite for <clears throat> messing around with a plastic bag bag.